Hi YouTube, we might have some interruptions. Um, we'll work through it if we do. I watched a super interesting um, this morning. Uh, let's see. I wanna, I wanna get the name of the lady. It was um, criminalized narcissist abuse question mark with Dr. Yana Greenberg. Her um, channel is Be Honest Podcast with uh, Professor Sam Backman. That was super interesting because um, I know that just like any narcissist or psychopath, for the most part, if they're incarcerated or if they're cornered on a situation of some kind, they can do the right thing, you know. So it is a decision, and it is criminal. Anytime you or I do something wrong to somebody, it's criminal. That brings me to the, this has nothing to do for me about race. It has to do with justice and the ploy. And it's not just a ploy. It is a fact that nobody cares that the indigenous of America, there's no debate on it, who the Native Americans are. Why doesn't the United Nations come in and help them? Where is uh, anti anti-indigenous group of people fighting for their rights, my or your rights. You, you see what I'm saying? They have now passed a bill. I'm going to share with you a wake-up call. Has A uh, um, lot of people are talking about the bill that was passed on the 26th, basically making it so you or I can't even speak about what's in the scriptures, how the Jews killed Christ. That's what they're making it. So this is why I bring in the Native Americans, because it is the big banksters, and we know who runs them, that control the government in the United States of America, and that's where the Native Americans come in and need to take control of their own country. What is justice? Are these people just? Not my country. You go try that somewhere else. And that's why I'm speaking about that today. To protect everybody it has nothing to do with race. Normal people don't hurt other people. And the majority of the... Um, Crypto Jews, I'll call them, because there is a difference in Jewish people and their beliefs and faith and that type of thing. Some are not murderers. Some are not narcissistic criminals that would do things to other people. But my government is now treasonous, giving money to murderers over their own people. You know, our people, my country. My country isn't Israel. When are people going to wake up? There's a lot of people that are picked on for their different heritages and our race and whatever. And we don't have any bills in the government protecting us. Not one. How about that? <laughs> you know? So, just a minute. I hope you get what I'm saying, what my point is, you know. This is this is really important. They're they want to take God out of our country entirely. And if you think the synagogue of Satan, it there's a reason why that nationality has synagogues instead of churches. Because that's who they are. Their temple. We know who sits in their temple. It's not Christ. 
They're the ones who murdered him. They're the ones that are in control of the whole world at this point, right now. But without the help of the people and the ignorance of the people, they won't get very far if people start telling others exactly what is going on. And we need to stop this. If they're making it so you or I can't even say a peep about who murdered our forefathers, and that's exactly what's being done. Like I say, where is the United Nations coming in and helping the Native Americans get their government, their governing of the land and their people back? Not just on a reservation, the whole thing. They own the whole thing, damn it. Where is the justice? Where is the truth and the honesty within everybody that hears me or other people talking about it? You're going to stop talking about it? You're going to brush it under the rug while these monsters take over our country? Native Americans welcomed Europeans, but they it's not like they welcomed everybody just to come in and do whatever they wanted and to ignore the fact that it was their con is their country. It still is. We have corporations selling land to China and other people that are directly our enemy. You know? Then they, they try and, um, with their wars and their fear, like, oh, they're so powerful that they're going to do something to us. No, they're not. Don't even worry about it. That has nothing to do with it. What it is, is they're afraid that people are going to step up in their communities and start saying, you know, we would like to see some Native Americans on the city council here. We would like to see Native American state senators and the Supreme Court justices and the Congress to be Native American, predominantly. Mentally, uh, predominantly, you know, I'm not too worried, and I don't know about you, but I'm not too worried about finding a position in my government to teach your children and my children that a man can't define what a woman is anymore, and that's a director of our health department. Isn't there something within you that says? Things need to change. We need to do something about this because these people are narcissistic. They are murderers. They're in bed with murderers and they're treasonous. Passing a bill so you can't teach scripture? That's gone too far. That's taking God out of America. Oh, and by the way, when I was speaking about the indigenous in America, including Canada and Mexico, and then it occurred to me, duh, South America and Hawaii, there's Alaska, which is a state anyway. I mean, and Puerto Rico being our territory in the Virgin Islands, I could go on and on. There's a lot of indigenous in our country that deserve to have those positions over anybody else at any time for any reason. If they're qualified within that area, they should get, or if they're just liked, if somebody just likes their candidate, for that reason, if they're personable, if they can get things done within the community, it doesn't matter what their walk of life is. But I'm saying that it should come from their forefathers having moccasins on their feet. You know? Sure. We follow 
the law and our heart from somebody that they said wore sandals. You know, I'm not too sure about that. But I don't think they they were as um, impudent <laughs> in the clothing department, even in ancient times, you know. Even when I was a little kid, I was designing clothes and making clothes for dolls in my bedroom, and I didn't need anybody to tell me how to do things to make them to put on that doll, or even for myself after a while, you know. So I don't think people were that stupid. People are pretty ingenious altogether, you know. They can figure things out like that. I had a little kid that was playing with um, electric motors when he was a little kid uh, that understood cogs and electronic ignitions and um, inertia and that type of thing. When he was just little, he had a whole box of his stuff that he would... Um, experiment and play with and I kept giving them little things little motors and or or toys that had motors in it and different things that I knew he was going to dissect and do something else with you know people are ingenious all by themselves you know but you know uh, the dark cabal they're not too and bright in all reality. They have to hire other people because they've been lame in the workforce for for thousands of years, not doing anything, not knowing anything except for greed and lust and the rest of their bullshit. That's all they are. That's who they are as people. They they're um really unskilled in life, you know, maybe not uh, scholarly, you know, they can speak pretty well, although a lot of them have some real major language barrier issues, but, you know, besides that, I was, I was tripping out on this, um, what was her name again? Uh, Be Honest Channel. Um, let me get her name again. I think my mouse is running out of juice. Just a minute. Um, Yana Be Honest. Criminalizing Narcissist Abuse. Dr. Yana Greenberg. She was tripping me out. She kept blinking. I thought, what? Woman, is that your mascara? I mean, about that often. Or do you have contacts in? Or is it the light in your eyes? Or what the fuck? Why? I mean, I guess it's better than the narcissist stare down. But, I don't know, it was tripping me off, out, I thought, um, something wrong with this woman's eyes. Maybe because, I don't know, maybe she was, I don't know, I have no clue. It just seemed pretty odd, you know. I don't know, I really don't, I could speculate, but, but I, I still have no clue. It was kind of goofy. I mean, she's a nice enough lady, don't get me wrong. <laughs> you know, it's like, but I got eye problems. Obviously, I would personally take that crap off my eyes because most uh, uh, mascara and eyeliner has uh, uh, castor oil from castor beans and cod liver which is not good 
in your eyes and it has heavy metals in it and stuff, it's really the last thing you want to do to your skin. Even perfumes, you have to be really careful, but, you know, I don't know. But castor beans are poisonous. A lot of people uh, swear by, like, ingesting castor oil and using it on your skin. And I would look up the uh, poisonous behaviors of castor bean before I even... It's in lips, lipstick, you know, the same with paraffin, I mean, and uh, different things that you put for um, foundation and stuff. You should, and the dark cabal knows that they can use any kind of metals to conduct dark energy towards you. Perfumes, too, jewelry, different things we wear. You got to be aware of it, you know polyester, nylon, these things conduct electricity, you know, everything I mentioned, of course we know it's in our food, and in the air, and whatnot, I mean, you know, do what you're going to do, but be aware of the ramifications when you're doing it, you know. It's just like the dark energy if somebody gives you a gift. Is it really a gift? <laughs> you know, be careful. What actually could be a side effect of something, no matter what it is. <laughs> you know, I'm not being uh, overly cautious at all. I've had these things happen to me, and I know what, I mean, I know, like I told you, I read all the, I studied their witchcraft right along with them when I was growing up, and I know exactly all the tactics and what they do towards people. I can tell when people are implementing that towards me, and they've been taught that, and they may not even re may not even realize that they're doing the will of the dark cabal for the dark cabal. Now I have met a few people that didn't realize they were being used, but as soon as they figured that out, uh, we got along pretty well because then they were more aware of keeping that away from me, you know. Um, hopefully they grew out of it and they don't do it to other people. But, you know, when you recognize something that you've been taught either growing up by, or by somebody that you might have admired or whatever, you have to really double check and, and ask yourself, is this something that I want to adapt for my own? Do I want to grow up to be like that? You know, and if you're doing something like that, why? <laughs> you know, I mean, love my enemies and pray for them, yeah, but praise them and give them gifts and maybe up to like somebody's birthday, I'll give them a birthday cake or a gift or something. If I know them, of course I'm going to. But sing their praises as a righteous person. If you are, I will. <laughs> but if you're not, hey, look out, you know. When I get a dark vibe off somebody, I'm not going to be showering them with loving gifts. They'll be loved, but I'm not going to shower them with that. You know, they'll have to ask God after they repent. You can't pretend repent, you know. You, you can't do it like one day and then go back on your word towards God and think that he's just going to believe you again every time you repent. But there's ones that aren't even thinking of repenting. 
it isn't even in there. It's not a part of their agenda. You know? It's okay. I've had people do some really stupid things to me. And it has been intentional because it's self-serving, you know. Anytime uh, somebody can have a good day, F you or I, as long as they're having a good day. doesn't matter how good you are, how righteous you are, how hard you work it. Nothing matters except for them, <laughs> you know. So... Back to uh, criminalization of narcissist abuse. Of course it's criminal. Anytime somebody does something abusive to another human being, it's criminal. You know. Writing in uh, somebody else's race in the Bill of Rights in my country without even recognizing the abuse of the Native Americans not being in control of their own country. Nobody should have a bill passed in our country until the Native Amer Americans are in charge of our country. Do you see the importance of what I'm saying here? Of stopping the dark cabal and their by way of the justice for the Native Americans. That's all that matters right now. Get with the program. Or fall under the Noahide laws that are already written in every 12 years. Our uh, commander-in-chief meets with Israel and signs in laws saying you are an animal and they are the only humans. And you're okay with that? It's not anti-Semitic to call somebody that isn't a true Israelite a criminal. And that's what they are. You know? With their Zionist churches that are teaching Judaism slash Satanism to you, under the guise of Christianity. That's sickening. And you, we need to, to make people aware of this. And there is a solution. Let's worry about the Native Americans, our race, our people, our country. And there's a lot of people that are even um, mixed blood. Now, many people have native blood in them, even over in Europe, because of slave trading and different things that were going on. So, I know I'm not alone in what I'm speaking, and as a Christian, I know I'm not alone in not wanting to see my faith and my trust in God go down the toilet like other countries have and fall under total, total, totalitarian um, control. You know, that's exactly what they're doing. One step at a time. I need help. I need people to speak on this and speak on it loudly and proudly and strongly for the people that own this country. It's time. It's disgusting. Even as a little child, I didn't even know my bloodline at all right away. They lied to me. But even as a little kid, I knew it wasn't right. And I saw my country defending other countries for their land. And it just never, ever made sense to me while the people that own this country are shoved 
on the ugliest parts of the world. And all the beauty was taken by the government that is ran by the dark cabal. And there's only one way to stop it in my country. I'm giving you the solution. Help me do that. Like I said, it has nothing to do with race. It has to do with good against evil. And I do love you all. I don't love the dark cabal. Forget it. If you've had anybody in your family killed by them, you'd feel the same way. But even if you haven't, they want to send your daughters to war to make them money. And you better believe it's true. Look at the past history and everything that's happened. None of these WARSs are true. None of them are justifiable. The true Israelites, some of us know, don't live in Israel. That's what God's speaking about. We all descend from Abrahamic tribes. Every single person on the planet. And God told Abraham his seed would be far spread around the world. It's not seclusive to one area. The chosen, that's, that's from all over the place. And you know if you're a good person, doesn't matter if you're yellow, red, black, white, who you are. You know if your heart's good or not. So does God. We need to step up for what God knows is right and wrong. And we need to bring justice to the indigenous people in the United States and kick this dark cabal out of our country. And believe me, red people are honorable. They will not fail you. There's some very intelligent doctors, nurses, lawyers. I mean, even if they could sit back on land and do nothing, they still choose to work for the most part. Yeah, there's some that have gotten involved with the drugs and the alcohol and can pull their sorrows out of themselves and carry on. Yeah, there's generations like that. But we can help them and we can lift them up. Where's the fucking justice? <laughs> you know? Like I said, I was a tiny child. I could figure that out. Is there anybody else in the world? Doug feels the same way, but is there anybody else in the world that that can actually stand for truth and justice? Who's anti-what? You're anti-American. You're anti-indigenous American. In our country. Or maybe not you. Huh. And that's how we stop them. Guaranteed. Yes, there's Native Americans that run for office. Sometimes they get there, sometimes they don't. Um, there's a couple tribes that I would say ixnay on that, but I would I would leave it to the elders of each community to um, represent us out of the 138 different tribes, you know. Like I say, there's a couple that are affiliated with the Dark Cabal. But if the indigenous got into power where they should be, they would weed them out. Just like they would do in their own communities anyway. You know? You don't hear Native Americans being incestuous and 
um, raping their own kids and all the weird sacrificial, none of that, not ever. Ah, uh, South America, yeah, let me take that back. These are, and I can't prove, but Phoenician blood. And there's some people that know that um, that's, that's a fact. That's why I said there's some that would be excluded from my list of who should be have leadership, you know. But not really talking like the Aztec Inca Mayas. I'm talking more like Lakota, Shoshone, um, Mohawk, uh, Cheyenne, um, there's some, I'm, I'm, I, I would exclude the Navajo, although I met a, I didn't meet him, I used to listen, or have listened to a Navajo elder that I have respect for, but I don't know. And two, even with my own grandfather being a police officer and going in the army, um, different things from my bloodline, uh, I it, it it still boggles my mind how a Native American would go fight in another country for other people's lands, you know. I know a lot of it has to do with like income when you need money and you're and a lot of people would sign up to go in the army or be drafted. That could have been a possibility. You know. I don't I don't know for sure. Nobody's alive that would tell me true about a lot of things. So couple liars out there that I would be really hesitant in asking them anything so I can only guess, you know. But, so that's what's on my mind today is uh, my government is treasonous and they need to be incarcerated. It is, it is a murdering offense. Um, the punishment for treason is death. And they are treasonous. They're not even... Where's the United Nations for the red people? Where have they ever been? And that's my message for the, the, the day. Help me spread it. So, God bless you and yours. And um, have a really beautiful night or day wherever you're at. Peace. And love from Pine City, Minnesota, USA.